Although Aurora Lumina was preserved in deep water sediments, it appears to have originated from much shallower waters, being swept down into the depths during a volcanic eruption. While it superficially resembled a sea anemone, details of its anatomy suggest it was actually much closer related to medusozoans, having similar traits to the immobile polyp stage of the jellyfish life cycle. The hydroid form is usually colonial, with multiple polyps connected by tube-like hydrocoli. The hollow cavity in the middle of the polyp extends into the associated hydrocolis, so that all the individuals of the colony are intimately connected. The colonies are generally small, no more than a few centimeters across, but some in siphonophory can reach sizes of several meters in any given colony, the majority of polyps are specialized for feeding. These have a more or less cylindrical body with a terminal mouth on a raised protuberance called the hypostome, surrounded by a number of tentacles. Freshwater polyp is often used as a model organism for morphalactic regeneration because they are easy to care for, requiring minimal direct care, and reproduce relatively quickly. It is reported that they do not undergo senescence, making them biologically immortal. Having the simplest nervous system of any known organism, its neurology is of interest to the neuroscience community, in the hopes that understanding such simple circuitry will be a precedent for understanding the more complex function of brains. The medusae of hydrozoans are smaller than those of typical jellyfish. Although most hydrozoans have a medusoid stage, this is not always free-living and, in many species, exists solely as a sexually reproducing bud on the surface of the hydroid colony. The body consists of a dome-like umbrella ringed by tentacles. The nervous system is unusually advanced for cnidarians. Two nerve rings lie close to the margin of the bell, and send fibers into the muscles and tentacles. The pink helmet jellyfish is unique among known jellies in having giant axons in the subumbrella which are involved in a rapid escape response. Normally the hydrozoan swims by slowly pulsating its bell, movements produced by muscle contractions which eject water through the velar opening. However, when the animal is stimulated by manipulating the bell margin, it responds very rapidly, producing up to three vigorous contractions that propel at a distance of about five body lengths. This hydrozoan is usually some shade of pink. Bell jelly are transparent with red coloration in their internal organs and eye spots around the rim of their bell. The red pigmentation helps them camouflage. They are often found in harbors, marinas, and other calm waters close to shore. They feed on plankton and benthic crustaceans and are found near the sea floor. At the base of the tentacles are several eyes, called ocelli, which contain light-sensing cells and red pigments. Immortal jellyfish is notable for its ability to revert its cells back to an earlier stage, effectively resetting its life cycle. This process, known as cellular rejuvenation, allows the jellyfish to potentially avoid death and achieve biological immortality. When faced with unfavorable conditions or physical damage, it can transform back into its polyp stage, restarting its life cycle. 
It is known for its adaptability and resilience. It can tolerate a wide range of environmental conditions, including temperature changes, pollution, and low oxygen levels. Red paper lantern jellyfish is a common name for this animal because of its mantle that can crumple up or expand like a paper lantern. It exhibits bioluminescence, light produced by a chemical reaction within a living organism. Bioluminescence is a type of luminescence, which is the term for a light-producing chemical reaction. Bioluminescence is a cold light in that less than 20% of the light generates heat. Crittle jelly have a dimorphic life history, alternating between asexual benthic polyps and sexual planktonic medusae in a seasonal pattern. Its swimming velocity does not increase as their body size increases which deems them as inefficient swimmers. Therefore, they require direct contact with their prey in order to feed which is effectively done through energetic propulsion in which pressure allows them to passively move in their environment. The species is best known as the source of acorn and green fluorescent protein, two proteins involved in bioluminescence. Flower hat jelly is known for its striking and vibrant colors. Like most jellyfish, it has tentacles equipped with specialized cells called nidocytes. These cells contain venomous structures called nematocysts, which are used to capture and immobilize prey. It is primarily active during the day. It is commonly found near the water's surface, especially in calm, protected areas. It is a carnivorous predator. It feeds on plankton and other small marine organisms that come into contact with its tentacles. The Portuguese man o war has a distinctive appearance, with a gas-filled bladder that sits above the water's surface and serves as a float. It has long tentacles that trail beneath the water, ranging in length from a few meters to over 30 meters tentacles are covered in specialized cells called nematocysts, which contain venomous barbs. These barbs can deliver painful stings to humans and other animals, leading to welts, swelling, and sometimes even more severe reactions. It is actually a colony of specialized individuals called zooids, each with a specific function. The float is responsible for buoyancy, while other zooids handle feeding, reproduction, and defense. The sail of Valella acts as a float, allowing it to catch the wind and drift on the ocean surface. Beneath the float, it has numerous tentacles that extend into the water column for feeding. This adaptation to rely on wind currents for dispersal is quite unique. Similar to Portuguese man o war, it can sometimes wash ashore in large numbers during certain weather conditions or ocean currents. Stranded individuals can still deliver mild stings, so caution should be exercised when handling them. Despite their small size, Irukandji jellyfish possess venom that is considered among the most potent of any jellyfish. Their venom contains a neurotoxin that can cause Irukandji syndrome in humans, a condition characterized by severe pain, muscle cramps and other systemic effects. Its sting is often described as feeling like an intense, burning sensation, initially followed by delayed symptoms that can emerge hours after the sting occurs. The Irukandji's small size and transparent body make it very difficult to see in the water. However, they are known to have a seasonal occurrence, typically appearing in tropical coastal waters during the warmer month. There are no recorded cases of a human sting from Chirodex as it failed either to sting, or adhere to, the hand and forearm of an incautious volunteer during the examination, but it is assumed, due to its relatively large size and to the extremely venomous nature of some chirodropids, that it is itself venomous.
Sea wasp also possesses one of the most potent venoms of any jellyfish. Its venom contains toxins that primarily affect the cardiovascular system, attacking the heart, nervous system and skin cells. It is commonly found in shallow coastal waters and mangrove swamps. They are most prevalent during the warmer months when water temperatures are higher. They are active swimmers and can move swiftly through the water. Atala jellyfish have been found to prey on crustaceans and other floating nutrients. It can trap its prey through the use of its hypertrophied tentacle. Bioluminescence is a common phenomenon in marine animals found in the deep sea. It has adapted a safety response to avoid predation. When it is attacked it produces an array of blue light flashes. It is believed that the purpose of these flashes is to attract a bigger predator than the one that was currently attacking it. It is an attempt to scare the predator that is currently attacking it with a larger predator that could possibly prey on the predator attacking it. The thimble jellyfish swims constantly by pulsating its bell, rotating as it moves. It forms swarms in warm seas near the surface of the water. Aggregations have been reported covering a million square meters 1 million meter square. The jellyfish feeds on plankton, drawing a water current past its outstretched tentacles by pulsating the bell. Larvae of the thimble jellyfish are the most common cause of sea bather's eruption in the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. The condition occurs when a swimmer comes in contact with a cloud of larvae, which stick to the swimmer's clothing and hair. Helmet jellyfish is a deep-sea species, typically inhabiting depths ranging from a few hundred to several thousand meters it migrates vertically in the water column, often staying deeper during the day and ascending towards the surface at night. It has a gelatinous body that allows it to be buoyant and move effortlessly in the water column. It also has large, sensitive eyes that can detect bioluminescent signals and movements in low-light conditions. It captures its prey using its long, trailing tentacles, which are covered in stinging cells that immobilize the prey. Nomura's jellyfish is a large jellyfish, with bell diameters that can reach up to 2 meters it is known for its periodic population explosions. These blooms can occur irregularly but they are often associated with warmer water temperatures and changes in environmental conditions. That can also pose challenges for local fisheries, as they can damage fishing equipment and clog nets. In some cases, extensive jellyfish blooms have resulted in economic losses for the fishing industry. Global warming and high temperatures can exacerbate these kinds of problems in the future. The jelly blubber is the most commonly encountered jellyfish along the Australian eastern coast and large swarms sometimes appear in estuarine waters. Its large bell is a creamy white or brown color, but farther north in Australia it is usually blue. The colors are derived from symbiotic algal plant cells within the body of the jellyfish. There is no obvious mouth on the underside, but there are small openings on each arm, through which food is passed to the stomach. The spotted jelly lives in trophic mutualism with a unicellular organism capable of photosynthesis, zoazanthella. This mutualism is based on a life cycle which permits an exchange of energy between the two species. It has two different ways of life through 24 hours. During the day, it stays at the surface of the water, in the photic zone. The photic zone is located between the surface of the sea and approximately 100 meters deep. It corresponds to the zone where photosynthetic organisms can use sunlight as an energy source. The jelly swims almost 2 kilometers a day, following the sun, therefore allowing zoazanthelae living in its tissue to optimize their photosynthetic activity.
When disrupted, the cannonball secretes a mucus out of its nematocyst that contains a toxin. The toxin harms small fish in the immediate area, and drives away most predators, except for certain types of crabs. They have a symbiotic relationship with the portly spider crab, which also eats the small zooplankton. The crab feeds on the prey captured by the cannonball. Upside-down jellyfish have been observed to enter a sleep state, exhibiting decreased pulsation rate, reduced responsiveness to stimuli, and compensatory rebound sleep after deprivation. They are the first-ever animals with no central nervous system to have been observed sleeping. They are photosynthetic due to a symbiotic relationship with the zooxanthellae that live below their tentacles. These algae feed on the sun and produce nutrients. The remaining nutrients become food for the jellyfish. Crown jellyfish is known to live in the pelagic zone of the ocean in the Indo-West Pacific and the Red Sea. They live and thrive in cold water and can be found as deep as over 1,000 meters below the surface. During the day it tends to remain in deeper waters, migrating to surface waters at night. Its prey mainly consists of algae, shrimp, plankton, invertebrate eggs and invertebrate larvae. Its most known predators are sea turtles. It is known to be one of the most venomous jellyfish. Although they have large amounts of venom deadly to their prey, their stings and venom is not harmful to humans. The endosymbiotic, photosynthetic algae which the fried egg jellyfish hosts in its body are paramount to the jellyfish's prosperity. These mutualistic microorganisms are also known as zooxanthellae, originating from the dinoflagellate phylum, and they commonly engage in symbiotic relationships with many types of jellyfish. While the cnidarian hosts provide shelter for these symbionts, the dinoflagellates in return use their photosynthetic abilities to provide the species with energy for usage and storage. This mutualistic relationship is so crucial to the Mediterranean jellyfish's growth and survival that the preliminary step of premature medusa formation will not initiate without the presence of zooxanthellae. The common jellyfish are widely distributed and can be found in both warm and cold coastal waters across the globe. They are particularly abundant in temperate and tropical regions. While it possesses stinging cells called nematocysts, its sting is typically mild and not harmful to humans. It follows a complex life cycle that involves both sexual and asexual reproduction. After fertilization, eggs develop into free-swimming larvae called planulae, which eventually attach to a substrate and grow into polyps. The polyps then undergo a process called budding, producing young jellyfish called ephyrae, which grow into mature medusae. The lion's mane jellyfish uses its stinging tentacles to capture, pull in, and eat prey such as fish, zooplankton, sea creatures, and smaller jellyfish. The long, thin tentacles which emanate from the bell's subumbrella have been characterized as extremely sticky, they also have stinging cells. The tentacles of larger specimens may trail as long as 30 meters or more. This unusual length, longer than a blue whale, has earned it the status of one of the longest known animals in the world. Human encounters with the jellyfish can cause temporary pain and localized redness. In normal circumstances, however, and in healthy individuals, the stings of the jellyfish are not known to be fatal, vinegar can be used to deactivate the nematocysts. Sea nettles are carnivorous predators that feed on small fish, plankton, and other small marine organisms. They use their tentacles to capture prey, paralyze them with venomous stinging cells, and bring them towards their mouth for consumption. They are known to exhibit diurnal vertical migrations, moving closer to the surface during the day and descending to deeper waters at night. Sea nettles undergo a complex life cycle that involves both sexual and asexual reproduction. They release eggs and sperm into the water, where fertilization takes place.
A fairly small and variably colored species, both tentacles and bell of the purple-striped jellyfish are covered in stinging cells. Stinging incidents are common, painful and the symptoms may continue for a considerable time after the encounter, but they are generally not dangerous. When large numbers of this oceanic species are washed ashore, the local economy can be affected because tourists avoid the beaches and fishers are stung while trying to retrieve their nets. Known to be one of the largest invertebrate predators in the deep sea, the giant phantom jellyfish's typical prey consists of plankton and small fish. It tends to be more dominant in locations with a low productivity system, which in turn deters other predatory organisms, like fish, to high productivity systems. The circular stomach contained canals that travel to the surface of the subumbrella. It is inferred that the lower stomach is thick to ensure the species has the strength to carry their long arms. Its four genital openings were also small to avoid weakening the stomach. The big red jellyfish have a distinct and unique appearance. They have a bell-shaped body that can grow to be quite large, with diameters ranging from 50 centimeters up to 1 meter the coloration of the bell varies from reddish-brown to deep red, giving it the common name. They are filter feeders. They extend their long, slender arms from the bell, which are covered in sticky mucus to capture small prey and particles in the water. They then bring the captured food towards their mouth for ingestion. Due to their deep sea habitat and relative rarity, there is still much to learn about this jellyfish. Myxobolus species are obligate parasites, their life cycle involves multiple stages. Mature spores, known as myxospores, are released from infected fish and enter the environment. These myxospores can infect other fish either directly through waterborne transmission or indirectly through ingestion of infected tissue. Once inside the fish host, the myxospores develop into active stages, known as sporozoites, which invade and multiply within host tissues, causing damage. Myxobolus infections can lead to a range of pathological effects in fish, depending on the specific species and site of infection.